On April 15, 2019, the world watched in horror as flames devoured Paris's iconic Notre Dame Cathedral. For over 850 years, this architectural marvel stood as a testament to faith and history, hosting coronations, royal weddings, and moments of national significance. But that day, its towering spire, a beacon in the Parisian skyline, collapsed before the world's eyes. The fire ravaged the cathedral, destroying its ancient wooden roof and causing immense damage. Yet even amidst the devastation, a spark of hope ignited. Within hours, French President Macron pledged to rebuild Notre Dame within a bold five-year time frame. Suddenly, a global team of engineers, architects, scientists, and skilled artisans found themselves united in an unprecedented project. Their mission? To restore Notre Dame and unravel its engineering secrets, blending traditional techniques with cutting-edge technology. At a staggering cost of over $700 million, can they restore one of the world's most famous ancient monuments successfully? The story of Notre Dame is inextricably woven into the fabric of Paris, and indeed of France itself. Construction began in 1163 during the reign of King Louis VII, the historic island in the center of the Seine River. Its Gothic architecture with soaring arches, intricate stained glass windows, and iconic flying buttresses represented a groundbreaking engineering feat for its time. Over nearly two centuries, master builders and artisans transformed raw stone and glass into a breathtaking place of worship. Notre Dame was completed in 1345. Throughout its long existence, Notre Dame bore witness to history. It hosted royal coronations, the wedding of Mary, Queen of Scots, and even weathered the French Revolution, suffering damage but ultimately surviving. During World War II, its stained glass windows were removed as a precaution, but the structure largely escaped unscathed. However, fate took a devastating turn on the evening of April 15, 2019. Around 6.18 p.m., flames erupted in Notre Dame's attic, quickly engulfing its centuries-old wooden framework. Parisians around the world watched in disbelief as the cathedral became an inferno. The fire raged for hours, and at approximately 7.50 p.m., the moment etched into global memory occurred. Notre Dame Spire, a 19th century addition, yet a beloved symbol in its own right, succumbed to the flames and collapsed. Despite the devastation, there were glimmers of hope. Firefighters bravely safeguarded many priceless artworks and religious relics, though smoke and water damage were inevitable. In the aftermath, a wave of grief and determination swept over France. President Macron promised a swift and ambitious restoration, aiming to reopen Notre Dame by 2024. But the scale of the task was immense. The question wasn't just how to rebuild, but how to restore it in a way that honors its history, while at the same time ensuring its future. So how did they plan to bring back one of the world's most treasured buildings in the fire's immediate aftermath, the cathedral was a fragile and vulnerable structure. The collapse of the spire and roof left the stone vaults exposed and weakened. These massive wooden braces installed within the cathedral are crucial temporary supports designed to prevent further collapse as restoration work commenced. Engineers faced a delicate balancing act, securing the building without introducing additional stress to its compromised structure. The spire was more than a visual highlight, it played a role in the cathedral's structural stability. Debate raged. Should the spire be rebuilt identically to the 19th century design by Eugene Violet le duc or was this an opportunity for a contemporary reimagining? Ultimately, the decision was made to recreate Violet le ducs vision, a testament to the enduring power of the original design. Rebuilding the spire requires sourcing massive oak trees, over 1,000 of them, to recreate its intricate wooden framework. These oaks aren't just any trees, they must match the size and quality of those used in the original construction and are carefully treated to ensure longevity and fire resistance. Understanding the complexity of this task, the intricate joinery, and the sheer scale of it is challenging for the human mind alone. That's where the wonders of technology step in. Imagine being able to explore Notre Dame Cathedral from every angle, zooming in on minute cracks or visualizing its entire structural framework, all without setting foot inside the building. 
That's the power of 3D laser scanning and modeling. Using this cutting-edge technology, engineers and architects can delve into the very heart of Notre Dame. They can virtually dissect those ancient oak beams that form the spire, tracing their joinery and understanding how centuries of stress and strain affected them. This digital twin of the cathedral acts as a blueprint and a time machine, allowing experts to make the most informed decisions as they breathe new life into Notre Dame. Laser scanners emit millions of laser beams that bounce off surfaces within the cathedral. These beams measure the distance and angles with incredible precision, creating a massive point cloud. Billions of data points that represent the cathedral's every surface, nook, and cranny. This digital point cloud is then transformed into a breathtakingly detailed 3D model, a virtual replica of Notre Dame. This digital twin of the cathedral is like an architectural x-ray. See those damaged stone vaults? Engineers can use the 3D model to assess their structural integrity, pinpoint weaknesses, and design the best repair strategies. They can even simulate different restoration techniques, seeing how new stones would fit and how the repaired vault would respond to stress loads, all digitally before a single chisel touches the actual stone. Notre Dame's builders use specific types of limestone for its construction. To ensure authenticity, geologists are pinpointing the original quarries to source matching stone for repairs. But the restoration isn't just about the stone itself, it's about the mortar that holds it together. Scientists are analyzing the makeup of the original mortar to create a replica that will seamlessly integrate with the existing structure, ensuring a cohesive and durable whole. A key goal of the restoration is to prevent a repeat of the 2019 tragedy. While the exact cause of the fire remains undetermined, the new design incorporates enhanced fire safety measures. The intricate wooden framework of the roof and spire, beautiful but vulnerable, is being reconstructed using fire-resistant materials and techniques. Modern fire detection and suppression systems will be discreetly integrated into the cathedral's design. The fire severely compromised Notre Dame's breathtaking vaulted ceilings, a marvel of medieval engineering. Restoring them requires meticulous craftsmanship. Master masons employ traditional techniques such as hand-carving stones to match the original profiles and recreate the intricate web of ribs that support the ceiling. Where possible, surviving stones are being cleaned and carefully repositioned, weaving the scars of the fire into the tapestry of Notre Dame's history. Notre Dame's stained glass windows, renowned for their intricate designs and vibrant colors, were miraculously spared from destruction in the fire. However, they suffered centuries of grime buildup and damage from smoke and water. Glassmakers had to painstakingly remove each panel. These precious windows are transported to specialized workshops for thorough cleaning and restoration. Master glassmakers will replace damaged pieces matching the original colors and techniques as closely as possible. The goal is to recapture the luminous brilliance that floods the cathedral's interior with divine light. A vital part of Notre Dame's soul resides in its legendary grand organ. With over 8,000 pipes, it's one of the largest in France. While the instrument's structure was spared, it endured extensive smoke and water damage as well. Organ builders are disassembling it pipe by pipe, cleaning each one meticulously. The console will be updated and some damaged pipes will be replaced. When those first notes ring out in the restored cathedral, it will be a moment of musical and spiritual triumph. But the fixing of Notre Dame doesn't stop at the building. The plan is to make the whole square in front of it nicer and easier to visit. They're adding trees for shade and making it a more beautiful place that matches Notre Dame's history. It's amazing that the whole project will cost over $767 million. But even more amazing is that people worldwide have already donated over $900 million to help. The fire in 2019 was terrible, but it couldn't destroy the spirit of Notre Dame. Fixing it shows how skilled people can work together to save something important. When the cathedral opens again in 2024, it will remind us how strong we can be. If this epic story of rebirth captivated you, please show your support by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and hitting the notification bell so you won't miss future explorations. Remember to share this video with fellow history and architecture enthusiasts, 